Hey everybody, great to have you back here in the fish tank. Now today we're going to talk about the free DLC that's available for Mini Masters, but before we talk about that, we need to talk about the state of the game. If you watch my recent, my most recent video, you will know that the Mini Masters 2.0 launch has been rough. With a lot of bugs, a lot of people unable to get into the game, which has of course been very, very frustrating for everybody involved, developers, players alike. Now, since my last video, we did have our second official hotfix, which from my point of view did address a lot of things. The game graphically looked a lot better and um, just playing the cards felt better, felt more like actual Minion Masters. So progress has been made, but I know there is still a lot of outstanding issues and I just encourage everyone to be as patient as possible. We know this is frustrating, but I feel like this is just uh, growing pains that we we have to go through and hopefully we'll come out the other side and Minion Masters will be better than ever. I am really impressed, as I said in my old video, with the, uh, the way the devs have responded to this and also a lot of the community as well. A lot of the community are really getting on board with regards to giving their feedback, giving uh, bug reports, letting the devs know what's broken, what they've found, sharing replays, sharing log files, all that kind of stuff. And this kind of stuff is crucial for the devs. It makes it so much easier for them to uh, replicate issues as uh, and ultimately fix them as quickly as possible. Of course, there's a lot of people that are just losing their mind about how the game is dead or it's they've killed Mini Masters, which I don't think is fair. I can understand where they're coming from, but that, that kind of hot take is, is not beneficial to anyone. Let's just be patient. Let's get through this together. One thing that Mini Masters had is a great community, and it feels like this is actually bringing the community and the developers even closer together. I've never seen the devs interact with the community quite so much. Um, I don't know when the next hotfix is going to be. Um, hopefully soon, because I know there are still a lot of issues that are preventing people from playing the game. Uh, but I don't want to talk about that too much on today's video, just bring you just a little bit up to date on what's going on. Uh, but of course, let me know in the comments what your um, what your experiences have been like. Um, always happy to hear from you. It's uh, My videos are not an official form of feedback. If there's anything sort of crucial, I will pass them on to the devs, but I do encourage everyone to join the Mini Masters Discord. We'll put a link in the description so that uh, you can directly interact with the devs, share your feedback and uh, whatever bugs you've found, and uh, hopefully a few patches down the line, things will be even better. I must say, graphically, the game looks amazing at the moment. I know on Xbox there's a bug that makes it look terrible, but that is a bug. That will be fixed and it will look much, much better. But for me, um, the visual noise is a little bit too much, but overall the graphics look great. I know there's a lot of people unhappy with the UI, especially in-game. Potentially that can be addressed going forward. But anyway, let's talk about the free DLC. As we're used to with Mini Masters, they're super generous with the DLCs. They're always free for the first week. So make sure that you claim your DLC. That's available on Steam and Xbox. Again, links in the description. If you go to the Steam page, you'll see not only do we have the Mountain Song DLC 100% off, but there's also a bunch of uh, DLCs that are uh, heavily reduced in price. Um, the DLCs are decent for newer players, but at, at full cost, they're kind of expensive. But reduced cost always uh, something to consider i know with the state of the game at the moment it's kind of awkward for people to spend money on it because it seems so broken but i do think that it will be fixed um, but at the very least make sure you grab your free dlc um, so let's go ahead and grab that okay so um what should happen now is we've grabbed it uh if we open our game, then we should claim it. So let's give that a go. Uh, fingers crossed it'll work, and fingers crossed we'll get some good stuff. Okay, so here we go. Loading into the game. I think I turned all the, the music and the sounds off. It's because I was testing something and it was getting a little bit repetitive. Right, loading in. Be a little bit patient. Okay. Let's, uh... I don't hear any... Oh, I don't hear anything because I haven't got my headset on. <laughs> what an absolute chump. Giga brain. 
Okay, I hear it now. Good. <laughs> right. Let's turn the music off. We'll put that in on post. Okay, so the Mounting sh Song DLC. There is a Claymore button down the bottom right underneath my face. But if you want to skip through it all, you can. But let's just go through it one at a time. See what we get. Okay, so... Looks like power we've got token tower, power. Power token, power tower. five Ooh. power tokens. Oh, okay, we also get the legendary Urklaw Protector of the Peaks. Now, I already have this. I think I have all the cards maxed out. So rather than getting the cards, I will just get refunded in, um, in shards. shards for cards. So if you're wondering oh, why I'm getting yeah. shards and you might not be, that's why. So we got 1,500 shards for that maxed out card. It. We get the Bevalanche Avatar. Again, already got it. So we get some gold back for that. Get 20 copies of the Frostberry Bearer. Again, it's maxed out for me. Shards so we get 2,500 yeah. shards as a refund. We get threason, threason, three season pass tiers. Common. We get 20 copies of Snap Freeze. So remember, the additional copies allows you to rank up your uh, the tier of your cards and you can get more rewards from doing that. Shards. Okay, so yeah. refunded there because I've got it all 40 times Highland Huntress. So obviously this is a Stoutheart themed expansion. Shards for cards. More yeah. refunds. Woodsman, 40 copies of the Woodsman. Shards. And that's it. Those are the rewards that we got. So whether you have them or not, you will get a, a, either a ton of new content or a ton of uh, refunded uh, shards and, gu and um, gold and stuff. Now, one thing I want to mention before we go is this was, it was kind of um, a stealth change. And I don't, I, I think there's a link somewhere to a, a, a spreadsheet, but some of the cards, well, quite a lot of the cards, they had their rarity changed. And. The devs did mention this in um, their patch notes or something, but it kind of went under the radar. Uh, so they changed the rarity of a bunch of cards to uh, more accurately reflect the uh, the strength or the complexity of the card. Now, the reason I mention that is because changing the rarity of the card changes your, your the border of the card. So, for example, if you have a legendary card previously in the old version of the game that was gold... If you if they reduce the um, the rarity of that from legendary down to supreme, that means that you need more copies of a supreme card to level it up to the same uh, same rank, the same tier as a gold card. So if you had it previously gold, then it might have dropped down to only silver based on the number of copies you had. And of course, of the opposite is also uh, something that can happen. So if you had a maxed out card that went up in rarity, which therefore requires less copies to get there. All of your extra copies will have been refunded to you in shards. And I think you get that the first time you open a, a chest, you get a bunch of stuffs uh, refunded to you if appropriate. So I just wanted to mention that because I've seen a lot of people confused about that. And uh, hopefully that uh, just clears it up. Right. So that's all I really wanted to go through with this uh, video today. Um, as always, make sure you claim that DLC. It'll be available. It's been available since Friday, so probably till next Friday. Uh, make sure you grab that Steam and Xbox. Links in the description. If you're new to the fish tank, if you're enjoying the content here, make sure you give us a, a thumbs up on the video. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any content. We've got a lot of stuff coming. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about with Mini Masters 2.0. I'm trying to keep you guys up to date and also uh, listen to the feedback that uh, you get. Um, and of course, keep joining the Mini Masters Discord. Keep giving your feedback. Keep letting the devs know what you're finding. What do you like? What do you not like? What's broken? What's crashed? Share your bug reports. Um, there is a, an awkward situation where bug reports in the game are bugged, and that's because their um, their system to receive bug reports has apparently hit its limit of bug reports, which is kind of awkward because it shows there's a lot of bugs, but also it's great because it shows that a lot of people are reporting the bugs. And uh, I think together as a community and uh, with the developers, we can get this to an awesome state. Uh, it's not quite there yet. There's uh, definitely some work to be done, but it seems that we can do it. Right, I'm bad as a fish. And as always, I'm awkwardly waving. <laughs>